Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. As you can see from the background paper, it's Christmas season. Well, not really. It's actually Thanksgiving season in my mind. But I wanted to come on and do a quick put together of some ornaments that I've cut out for different tags. Here we go. And um, I've got some snowflakes and some Christmas trees. And I just wanted to go ahead and do this with you guys just so I can... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still getting over that cold, so I can chit-chat with you and just have a little bit of fun here. So I'm just going to go ahead and simply glue that right on there. Nice and easy, nothing super fancy. And then later on, I'm going to come back and add my twinkle lights or my glitter or whatever I would want to add on top of the tree. And um, make it a little bit more Christmassy. I might even stamp on there. I don't know. I don't know, guys. But I just wanted to start the process of getting some Christmas items ready. Look how sweet that is. Super cute. Adorable. This is really, really thin. Um, and I did that on purpose because I'm not sure what I want to use this for in my project yet. But if I want to thick it up, I don't have any issues with that either. Now this one here is a lot thicker cardstock. And um, I'm really excited to use that. Um, I just use stuff for my scraps. This is here, as you can see, is a different Christmas tree. I'm going to add my glue and put that again right in the center, or as best as I can. I'm not too particular on it being exactly in the center, you know, a little bit off center, not a big deal for myself. So anyways, guys, I am super excited about this Christmas season coming up here. I'm going to go ahead and use, actually do a red one. Let's do a red. Uh, a red snowflake. I mean, how many people have seen red snowflakes? Well, not me, but I didn't want to use the traditional white because I knew I was going to use white for my ornaments. And, you know, I could even, um, like, paint these. I could color them. Um, the background of these ornaments here, I mean. So, anyways, back to what I was saying. I'm super excited about using different mediums and different techniques. This is just simply the base of it. So we'll come back and we'll finish it up. Um, and I'll show you the them when I'm actually completely done with them. But for now, I just wanted to decorate them up. Um, let's see. How about a dark green snowflake? And I have these set off to the side here because these are actually um, like a shadow effect for this. So you could stick that on there like that. And then you wouldn't need to glue it on there. So I think I'm going to do that with this one. And I only have four of those cut out. I um, ran out of time for cutting my little man. Needed to take a nap. So I was only able to cut for about 30 minutes. And this is how far I got. That's why I said this is the first um, part of the video. So as you can see, I am getting into the Christmas spirit. I know Thanksgiving isn't even here yet. But guys, we have to get a a running start at this because it'll be here before we know it and if I don't do a little bit when I get the chance to I have so much to do and I feel overwhelmed when it comes time to like rush and hurry up and get it done I'm gonna use another red one I really like this red um, and you know I, I don't like rushing and I want to be able to be creative and feel at ease and relax and it should be fun it shouldn't be stressful and it shouldn't be you know, hurry up and get it done type of feel. At least that's what I think anyways. So if you remember a few videos ago, I, well, I don't know if it was a few videos ago, but a while ago I went to the Dollar Tree and I picked up three different gift cards for $5 each. And I'm going to have three different hidden giveaways in the videos in the next coming weeks. And just keep watching, and you never know what video it will be that I will announce the winner of that. I'm just going to have a hidden giveaway, and I thought that would be a fun way to have a little Christmas spirit in some of my videos, and also just to be able to give back to you guys. It is $5 to the Dollar Tree, so if you win the, vi the giveaway in that video, and you don't have a Dollar Tree, or you don't want that, I'll figure out something else. Like I could do PayPal, $5.00. Or I could do hand my card, whatever you would want that is a $5 value. Because, I mean, I understand if you live in a place where you don't have access to or you don't even shop at the Dollar Tree. You know, I don't want to give you something that you wouldn't use. I mean, you can always use it as a gift for somebody else. But, you know, you want it so you should be able to use it, I think. Look how cute that is. Another little ornament. And let's see, I got a Christmas tree snowflake. I only have two ornaments left. 
And then I have three snowflake backings. These are actually um, white, but these ones are on bright neon yellow green paper that I would never, I would never use this on anything. So that's why I'm using the white side. No one's going to see it. It's going to get glued down. Not a big deal. So let's go ahead and put a red one on there and back it with that white. It looks really, really pretty. It just gives it a little bit more dimension. It obviously gives this so it's not so flimsy because I, I don't really like flimsy uh, pieces. I really like my stuff to be somewhat thicked up, not so floppy because I don't want to rip it and use it on something that's ripped. And this one here, the one, the first one that I did, that green one, if you didn't notice, it is missing the end of this, but I'm not concerned with that. You know, you stick a gem on there or you could even just cut this whole thing off right there. You could elongate it and put it on like a wand or something. You, you could do all kinds of cool stuff with these. I'm going to use this thicker one. I'm going to put this Christmas tree on there. That is some pattern paper. I don't know if you guys can see it, it is striped. It's really, really pretty and it didn't quite cut. <clears throat> Excuse me very well on my machine, but good enough for me. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. I thought these would be really cute to add to like gifts um, because we are a family here of six and I reuse our gift bags over and over and over again and I never write anybody's names on them and now that I've got the four kids it's getting harder to remember whose bag was whose. So now I just take my little tag and I can write their name on it. I can use these tags again and again if I want to. I can write a message on the back and it just helps it feel like a little bit more personalized instead of, oh, I get the gold bag again. And, uh, you know, I don't want it to be like that for them. I want them to have a little bit of surprise here and there. So I know the little one isn't going to mind. Obviously, he's just going to rip the paper and, and have fun with the cardboard boxes and nothing else, right? That's how little kids are. But the older ones are more like, uh, well, that was great. And they would prefer the present. So I thought doing quick little tags. And talking about the hidden giveaway would be a fantastic way to start this. I've got two left. These ones are big. Um, and I don't have... This one isn't right. It doesn't match. So I'm not going to be able to use these two up today. So I'll have to save those in my scrap pile. But I can do this final one here. So, because I announced the hidden giveaway challenge in this video, I'm going to go ahead and do it for this first one. As you can see up here in the upper right hand corner, there is a jar of buttons. Whoever guesses the closest to the number of buttons in the jar will be the winner. And I will pull it up closer to you so you can get a better idea. I will open the lid and if only one person guesses, then I guess that's going to be the winner. So I'm not having um, very good luck with this piece. It's sticking to my fingers because I've already glued down so many pieces and I press like this and I get glue on my fingers. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Here we go. Okay, so this here is a little uh, canning jar, and I just poured some of my random buttons in here. I didn't do anything fancy, and so there we are. They're inside this jar, and whoever guesses the closest number will win. You have to be 18 years or older, obviously, to enter any giveaways, and um, you know, if you don't live here in the United States and you're watching my channel, no problem. We'll do the PayPal $5, or I can send you the gift card in the mail. I don't know if you guys have Dollar Tree across seas or anything. Maybe you do. So there's some bigger buttons and some smaller, teeny, tinier buttons. So yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. I can't wait to give away more stuff. So please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button to stay tuned for more videos. Thanks. Have a great day.